Asus ROG Zephyr SS Ultra Slim Gaming PC Laptop GX531 GSAH76 Review Deal Discount Unboxing Setup Have had my eye on this PC for a long time and picked it up yesterday and ran some tests. I previously had a MSI GT80 Titan with two 970m SLI, this PC performs about 10% better than my old PC, but pretty much 1.5 the size. Laptop, although much lighter than my old PC, is actually surprisingly heavier than it looks, which is a plus for me, I like a PC with a little heft. My main concern was cooling, and I can say this PC has it in spades. I ran a RE6 benchmark test, it's what I had on me at the time, on high settings as well as 260fps YouTube channels and a temperature never spiked past 82C. It usually kept to a general 75-78C temperature range. You can quickly bring up Armory Create software with the Asus logo button, located on the upper right hand corner of the keyboard, above the trackpad, and set fan profiles based on the game, or let it automatically set its own fan speed depending on bearing load. I'm still performing some tests so things can be subject to change, but so far, this PC has turned out to be the real deal. A bit of caution for anyone looking to buy though, remember this PC does not came with a Thunderbolt plug, I knew this going in and it didn't affect me but it may matter to you. Also remember, naturally, if you plan to use this for heavy use this version of the Zephyr S, 1070 Max Q version, only has SSD, there is no extended hard drive so you will need an external one. Also keep in mind, much like the Razer Blade 15. This laptop has no Ethernet port. If you're going to buy this and you're a serious no holds barred gamer, then you can pretty much consider buying a USB Type C hub, the ones with the Ethernet port, pretty much part of the deal as well. Pros Plus, arguably the strongest contender for the best thermals and cooling of any current super thin gaming laptop on the market. You can clearly tell the main thing that keeps this puppy cooled is nothing but good old fashioned mechanical ingenuity. Plus extremely light and powerful for its size, using Armory Create software you can overclock the GPU and reach pretty much full GTX 1070 level performance. Plus very reasonably priced for what you get. Plus slim and sleek design. The Zephyr S is designed elegantly, but at the same time it's not ostentatious. You could most likely bring this into a business meeting or a library and you wouldn't draw unneeded attention. Cons No Ethernet port or Thunderbolt connection. The side-by-side -side trackpad and keyboard is considered unconventional by some, I consider this a pro though, I love the setup, it's so fancy. SSD only, for the 1070 Max Q version. Be prepared to pick up an external HD or be ready to carefully manage the games you download. RGB lighting is kind of soft on the keyboard. You can increase the lighting intensity, but by most modern day standards it's still going to have more of a soft glow than an in your face level of intensity. Fans are surprisingly loud when they are at their maximum setting, especially for something so small. Again. I also like this because I respect a machine with a little kick and can flex its cooling muscles when it needs to. But this could be considered a con for some. Remember that you can always manually adjust fan settings using a button or set an automated profile in Armory Create depending on what game you play. Admittedly, I gave this 5 stars because just about all of the cons, at least to me, weren't really cons save for the Ethernet port and Thunderbolt connection. But I already had a USB Type-C hub when I bought this so I was good to go. But I wanted to list those warnings out there for people who are considering this laptop. Before buying, know what you are getting before purchasing this, read the fine spec prints, if you can keep that in mind, this PC is a real beauty. Special discounts on product. Get the discount link in the description box.